great to have this opportunity today to um, tell you about what Glasgow Recovery Organisation is doing. Um, I'm Donna Campbell, and I'm in Recovery from Addictions, just like a lot of you folk here in our school. And in Glasgow and the surrounding areas, there's about approximately 20,000 people in recovery. And that is, there's over 300 meetings a week, um, fellowship meetings a week in Glasgow as well, and that's not counting the smart meetings that are taking place. And that's not even counting the amount of people that are just quietly in recovery and not engaging um, with any, anyone. And at any one point as well in Glasgow, there is 13,500 people who are engaging with services at any one time. Aye. So, Glasgow Recovery Organisation Grow. We are a community interest company and that is the legal structure for a social enterprise. We became a community interest company in November 2013 there. And I always thought that setting up a social enterprise, community interest company, an organisation would take years and years and it doesn't, it doesn't take years. It's a very simple process and anybody can do it and you don't even need a lot of money to do it either. Uh, £335 will get you a solicitor who will draw up your, it's not a constitution, it's memes and articles and to go to company's house it's £335 so it's not a lot of money. In April of last year, I was not really I've been four years now in recovery and April last year um, I was dissatisfied with my life and what I was doing professionally in my life and I wanted something <coughs> that I could really get my teeth into, that I could really make my own and that I could um, invent, I suppose. And I don't have any qualifications. But before I became really unemployable, I was self-employed and I did a lot of project coordination. So I had some skills from way back then. And I've got lots of other skills and lots of other experience that I've done. I can bring all these strands to the fore and do something really good to you. And it was a simple idea and it was an idea that's been spoken about for quite a few years now within the recovery community and I've been part of uh, some of these talks and it was about a recovery social enterprise. Can you hear me okay at the back there? Yes, yeah. yeah, my voice <coughs> bouncing. Cool. Now, this idea of a social recovery enterprise has been spoken about for a few years. <coughs> but that's all that was happening, it was just been spoken about for a few years. So in April last year, I came to this place and I thought, I'm going to do this. Now before, as an addict, and I think this, but I, I don't think it's just an addict, I think a lot of folk, even if they've not had addiction or anything like that, eh, they doubt themselves, they won't try it because they fear of failure, because it wouldn't be perfect that, and I was like that. But I thought, I'm going to do this. And I didn't really know what I was doing. Google, I hit Google an awful lot, because every time I, I did things and I need to know basis, but well, right, I'm going to do this, how do I do it? Google, right. And I kidded on, I knew what I was talking about. Um, round about that time, the RIF fund had just started, so that was the Recovery Initiative Fund. And at the same time as that, Lloyd's TSB School for Social Enterprise were looking for ideas from social entrepreneurs. And I thought, this is God, if higher power. The time is now, the time is right, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, I never told you about what I am going to do. <laughs> 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 right, this, this is a pitch. Glasgow Recovery Organisation mission is to open an alcohol and drug free cafe club venue in the centre of Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, we will expand volunteer training and employment opportunities for folk in recovery from addictions. And for young people who've been affected by a parent or carer's addiction, 
we will work with them to create an entrepreneurial hub where they can get into teams and take an be supported in an idea where they can explore self-employment and <coughs> entrepreneurship. Our venue will be very much profit driven. <coughs> we are a social business. It will be profit driven, but any profit that we make goes straight back into our venue and the communities that we serve. And that's it. We will be a mainstream venue. We are not a recovery cafe. We are an alcohol and drug free venue, full stop. We will essentially be catering for people primarily in recovery from addictions of family and friends, but we're also open to members of the general public seeking an alternative way to socialise, and there's many out there. Where's Glasgow Recovery Organisation now? We've we'll just get money for feasibility study for all this, that's the process. Feasibility study, investing ideas, and then it's Life Transitions Fund with the lottery, and it's National Heritage Funding, and I can't remember if the other was ever funded, but there's three streams of funding. But in the meantime, until that happens, with the Commonwealth Games coming, we are going to be launching a small cafe because we want to bring up a uh, build up a business model. Oh, and we launched our pilot nights on Hogmanay and Carlton Studios, and over a hundred people came. Thirty percent of the people were not in recovery. They were coming out for the first time in years to have a sober night, a, a sober Hogmanay out, and also as well, a piper was twelve years old who brought in the bells. And the only reason that his mother allowed that is because she wanted him to see people, adults, enjoy themselves, particularly at that time of year, without drink or drugs. So I'm telling you this right now, mark my words. A night out without is soon to be the new Rock and Club. Thank you.